Hey, what's up, everybody? J Ho here with the Butt Kicker GR Cup. We're racing in the Toyota GR86. This car is a ton of fun. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. It was a ton of fun to do this race. Alrighty, so we got some Laguna Seca qualifying the Toyota GR86. First time actually ever driving this car, so. Uh, let's see how this goes. Let's get into qualifying here and uh, see where we can end up. If we can get into the top row, I'll be happy with that and I'll, uh, I'll probably start on the grid. If I'm not one of the first two cars, then I uh, probably start in the pits. We'll see. All right, coming down to the first corner here and braking. A lot of coasting on this first corner. Still figuring out this track. I was only able to drive. Okay, okay Josh, you have five minutes to go. Minutes five minutes left. This, uh, got out of work and came in and started doing this. And uh, not a whole ton of practice. We'll see how we can do here, though. I'm trying to take it as fast as possible right now. But also smooth. Being smooth is fast, right? That's what they say. Here's a fast corner. So we can get through that. Just tapped on the brakes a little bit there. Kind of turns the car. I don't know if that's necessary or not sometimes, but uh, when I was learning the track, to learn the track, I always turned the driving line on. So I did that. I don't know about this corner either. I, I, I feel like in the, uh, in the corkscrew there, I feel like I could just leave it in second gear. Oh, almost over the edge there. Hard. That was definitely getting a little bit loose there. second lap here. This corner I'm starting to figure out. I was in practice. I was taking it a little bit too fast, but this curve, it, uh, the curve there is way, way past the corner. Yeah, we could just let off there, but I wasn't going as fast because I had that slow pace there coming up anyway, so. We're going with the first lap. See where we end up there. I know this is a big series though, so it wouldn't let me mess with the traction control or the ABS or anything. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Okay. All right, looks like we got P4. All right, coming through for the green flag here. Got the missed start, so let's get moving as soon as we can. There's a pace car. All right, and we're off. This is a very, very low strength of field. Honestly, I- There's a car behind, stay inside the line. I thought about doing a, uh, starting from the grid on four, and at fourth place, but um, you know, honestly, I saw that this was a rolling start and immediately changed my mind. With only a point four a uh, strength of field here, 
There's no way I want to do a rolling start. I need to get my uh, my eye rating up in, uh, in road racing. I'm actually, if you're new to the channel here, I'm actually pretty new to, uh, to this whole uh, spiel of sim racing and such. I've actually had eye racing since 2017, but I had one of those uh, pedals that don't have any tension and no force feedback on the steering wheel. You know, I, I like not braking in that corner. I, I think that's I think that's what we need to do there. But no tension anywhere. It's just a, uh, a corkscrew. This is my favorite corner in all of racing. Although there is a lot of tracks I haven't played. Like I have not played the Nurburgring. And I hear that that has a ton of really famous corners and uh, we need to try that. So I, I actually did a, I grew up dirt track racing and um, you know, that's, if, if you watch any of my races, uh, you know, at, as I'll be putting out more and such here as well. This could get us into P13 here. We're coming up on this guy. Um, but as I get more into road racing, I gotta figure out the race craft for a lot of these cars and it's just a whole uh, whole kind of different racing style. Like I'm learning about late apexes. Um, you know, in oval, you don't really late apex. The corners are so long, you just kind of apex the whole thing, you know? And that's not necessarily the case here. So I'm trying to figure it out, trying to figure out what's the uh, the right thing to do and how, how to race the race correct here. here. We are in P10. Honestly, starting from the pits, I would love to have zero incidents and a top five if possible. That would make me really, really ecstatic. You know, still still very early in the race. It's a 15 minute race. Looks like we're already actually seven minutes in. It's kind of crazy. But this, this is one of my favorite tracks. I do love Laguna Seca. I know this track pretty well. So that's actually why I chose to do this here. Oh gosh, don't get an off track. All right, Whew. save that one. Okay, so not bad there. And the good news is, is we did not get an off track there, which is super, super important for us. We definitely don't want to be getting off tracks. You know, in, uh, in this, I actually did my fastest lap. I, I got about 15 minutes of practicing before I started the race here. I uh, got out of work, did, did a little bit of practice. This car is, this is the first time I've actually ever drove this car. It's a lot of fun. Let's avoid this guy. He's a he's a crazy one. But uh, I, I do really enjoy this car. It sounds like it's electric. I'm assuming it's electric. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below. But it definitely sounds electric. Um, you know, it has a whole different kind of driving style to it. But honestly, it's a ton of fun. This this car is quite a blast. I'm not even gonna lie. So. Uh, I'm glad that I uh, I saw that this car was on Laguna Sega, so I was like, I know that track. You know, that won't take a ton of, like, learning the track, so I don't have a lot of time here tonight to do much for racing, and I, you know, I wanted to get a YouTube video out for you guys. And, uh, you know, I, I actually apologize. In my last few YouTube videos, I, uh, I actually used the wrong mic. I had the wrong mic unmuted. Corkscrew... So if you actually watch my uh, late model race, you can hear me at the end being like, I think it was like P5, woo, fireworks, and getting all excited there. But you can hear it very, very faintly because I had my computer, my desktop mic unmuted, but not my, uh, my uh, headset mic unmuted. So that was super unfortunate. I still posted the videos because, you know, I had, uh, I think I had four races that I did that were all pretty good. They were all pretty good, pretty competitive racing. And I had the volume, excuse me, I had the volume going through my uh, my VR headset and 
the audio is kind of crackly. I used uh, editing tools to kind of clear up the audio, but the audio wasn't the best. So uh, definitely working on that. You know, kind of kind of got to start out as a scuffed YouTuber before you figure out all the kinks. Um, but, you know, it was good practice, good editing style. I know the audio isn't the greatest on those videos, but uh, from here on out, should have it figured out. So getting some pretty fairly fast laps here down. Happy with that. You know, like I said, my uh, my fastest lap prior to this was a uh, was a 1:44, and then in qualifying there we did a 1:43, which is definitely a, a bump up. And you know, maybe we could trim another second off and get down to 1:42. I would definitely uh, definitely love that. You know, I feel like going there, I'm not sure if going down to first gear is really the uh, the answer. But the good thing about this car, uh, assuming it's electric, it actually doesn't have a ton of wheel spin. This is actually the first electric car I've ever driven. Oh man, finally hitting that corner right. I've been struggling with that corner, not hitting that apex, coming out too wide, getting a little bit slidey. But we can't be getting slidey. Looks like we're up to P7 now. Holy cow, we are moving on up. Like I said, a P5, no incidents. I will be an extremely happy camper. Starting from the pits, a true zero to hero run. Uh, my first time ever in this, doing a zero to hero run. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Actually looks like the car in front of me is a lapped car, so hopefully he lets me by pretty easily. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Looks like he's hitting those, uh, those curb bumps. Those are honestly some really, really big curb bumps. And um, when I was practicing in the uh, the fast corner, not this one right here, but the next one after this, I hit the curb bump and it just launched me. So I learned pretty quick to not hit those. This car cannot deal with it. But it feels, feels like we're lapping pretty fast here. Putting down some pretty good times, consistent times. That's that's the most important important thing, you know. Uh, anybody who races just knows that consistent times are you know one of the most important things. I know I may, may not be you know the fastest person you've seen on YouTube here, but I'm also new, um, you know, newish. I did a lot of uh, trying to grind up my license level, um, and it actually really hurt my I rating. So uh, during this journey, we want to get our I rating up see if we can't bump that up uh, you know I'd love to get it up to you know 1k 1.5 and eventually two and you know see where it goes from there but I really need to learn how to drive the road courses and learn a lot of the road courses you know like I said I'm still just figuring this out I haven't really done a whole bunch of road racing and one thing that I had been doing a lot was trying open wheel racing and for somebody new I don't know if that's the route the more and more I think about it well, that was a good corner it was a good corner we're figuring that one out we're catching up to those lap car here but the more and more I think about it the uh, the, the open wheelers are just super punishing I feel like for a new person there's this very very uh, slidey I feel like um, you know a lot higher speed, a lot more downforce. You know, you're taking corners a lot faster. So I think I might do uh, do some actual cars, which I love the cars like this. You know, cars that actually look like cars. They're sweet. You know, it, it brings you know the, the love of the automobile out. You know, and yeah, definitely not hitting the brake there is huge. All right, so I'm assuming we're gonna get the white flag here. Still would love to get up to P5. The guy's about five and a half seconds ahead of me right now. If we can catch up to him, oh man, that would be phenomenal. Getting up to P6 is pretty sweet. This guy is crazy. This lap car, I feel like he's gonna wreck me out. So hopefully we don't have that as an issue. You know, moving forward, that could be pretty awful.
fun race though. Definitely a, a, an extremely fun race. I'm having a ton of ton of fun in these cars. I, I might drive these cars some more, honestly. Maybe this will be my uh, my road series. So when the uh, the new season comes out, kind of what I want to do is I want to pick a road and oval series and you know do the uh... oh. Oh, that was the last car. Okay, still three seconds, three seconds behind. You know, on the last lap, if we can get P5 here on the last lap, man, get your popcorn ready. We are gaining on this guy heavily, 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 heavily gaining on this guy. Snee drive smooth. We're losing. Oh, gosh. Lost a little bit of our tire grip there. Definitely a little unfortunate. He's breaking hard coming into this corner, though. I'm going to... Yeah, no braking. We're just sending it there. I don't want to pass him here in the corkscrew. It's definitely not what we want to do. I'm not even close enough to passing him. Okay. Take the inside here. That's P5. That is P5. So that actually wasn't the white flag lap, but looks like we still got one more lap to go. And we have this last car right on my behind, which isn't very good. So it looks like that car that I just passed went into the pit. So I wonder if maybe they had some damage and maybe that's why he was uh, slowing down and over braking and such, but uh, we'll see. We just need to, Maybe we just let this lapped car go by. You know, he was kind of crazy and all over the place, and he's really, really trying to push to get around me, which we're not even in the same race right now. He's a whole lap down. So we'll, we'll see if we can let this guy uh, go, go ahead of me here. This wouldn't be ideal to have this guy wreck me and him out. He's diving down, so perfect. Let him take that. And uh, it's probably smart. Oh, I forgot to shift. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. We're putting some distance between me and him. That's gonna be important. This guy was squirrely and all over the place. And uh, he just wasn't a very consistent driver. You know, the guy has good pace, uh, you know, when he, when he wants to have good pace. These cars are too much fun, honestly. Oh, oh, thank God he saved that. Not trying to get wrecked out. We'll break a little bit early here. Let him kind of uh, figure out what he's doing. All right, awesome P5. What is zero to hero? Starting from the pits in last place, qualified for but the rolling star and the 0.4k I rating level was kind of scary. So we uh, definitely didn't want anything to do with that. Um, no, it looks like we got one more lap in us. I don't know why that keeps changing on the lap calculator. I have my crew chief on and I don't know why he's not talking to me. He should be talking to me. Um, so that's something I'll have to figure out. Um, but it said 6.7, then it said 7.7, .7, and now it says 8.7. We still have this lapped car in front of me. Uh, you know, he's probably trying to see if he can catch up to the car in front. We'll give him a little bit of space here. I'm not, not trying to be right behind this guy. Uh, you know, we pretty much have P5 locked up. And I'm happy with that, so. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll check the stats after this. Uh, oh, look at those tire tracks. Somebody, uh, somebody went off. Yeah, not, uh, not trying to, not trying to pass this guy, so. We need to, oh, he's, he's getting a little squirrely. Let him get out in front a little bit. Keep him at a safe distance. I don't know why 
I shifted down there. I feel like just staying in third in that corner is probably more than acceptable. All right, it says nine of nine now, so looks like we're good here. I see the uh, I see the flag waving. We got a checkered flag. Oh, goodness gracious. Sweet, awesome. I'll take a P5, zero incident race. This is gonna be a good uh, post-race report to check at, so let's go ahead and buzz over to it. Alrighty, so it looks like we were in the very, very bottom split here. There is a ton of people that race this series, so uh, I know earlier I was talking about maybe picking this one up, but you know, with the amount of people that race this, this is definitely something we should do. Um, we got nine laps in. We kept thinking that it was almost over, but it wasn't. Uh, the darn uh, thing kept messing me up. No cautions. I don't think there is cautions, but bottom split there. Uh, safety rating went up 0 0.1. Um, so I was kind of hoping for a little bit more since we did get zero incidents. Uh, I rating up plus 25. It's going to be a slow grind to getting this back up. Uh, it's being competitive. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get up there. Um, let's check here. Uh, fastest lap time. Looks like I got a 142.1. Um, this guy got a 142.069. This guy got a 140. Uh, this guy 141 as well. So what? There's one, two, three, four, five people had faster laps, and I finished fifth you know, ultimately, uh, you know, so we'll, we'll take that. Honestly, I'll, I'll take that. That's uh, it's pretty good from starting from the pits. Um, I feel like we did pretty well. We probably could have, you know, got ahead of this guy. If, uh, if we didn't start from the pits, I mean, we would have started here in fourth. So, uh, it's kind of got zero incidents. Happy to see that happy, happy days. Um, let's look at our I rating biggest winner here is Corey Kish, uh, B license. Got 78 I rating for the positive, and our biggest loser looks like this would be Caleb Click. Lost. Oh, nope, right here. For sure. Yep. All right. Abraham Garcia lost 83 I rating. Um, biggest loser there. Um, getting, getting the safety rating up is really good. Um, you know, um, I'm happy with, uh, happy with how this race went. Definitely going to join in to some of more of these uh, GR Butt Kicker Cup fixed races had a ton a ton of fun um yeah hope you enjoyed it uh we'll catch you on the next video